Today we are found in Exodus 33. We'll begin at verse 13. Exodus 33, please stand for the reading of God's word. Love is of God. Yes. And everyone who loves is born of God 
and knows God. He, and it says, he who does not love God does not know God because God is love. Where do folks at? If someone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. Right. For he who does not love his brother whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he has not seen and really can't see and live? All right now. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, in this commandment we have from him, that he who loves God must love his brother also. Mm -hmm. Because God is the Jesus went on to teach us, this is how the world will know that you are my disciples. It is by the love that you have for one another. And so, in these evil days in which we live, it is imperative that the church knows God's way. Look at what Moses said in verse 13. Now therefore I pray, if I have found grace in your sight, show me now your way. Or in other words, give me you. If I have found grace, Lord, let me have you, amen? Uh, because it, it's you that I need. It's, right. it's you that the world needs. It's amen. you that the church needs. Can I get a witness? Amen. Right, right, right. Uh, that I may know that you and I uh, are, 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 are reconciled together, amen? But I need to have you. I, I need to have your presence in my life. And please consider that this nation is your people. This church is your people. So God, uh, give us you. Amen. What is a church without God? What, what is God's people without God? Amen. Well, we have gotten to the point that we are easing God out, not only in our nation, but if we're not careful, we're easing God also out of our church. Mm. Out of the church. Amen, because God is love. All right, amen. And if you don't love, amen, then you're easing God out. This is how God going to know you're my disciples is because of the love that you have for one another. So where is the church? Certainly we can also ask, where is the love? Amen. Was it because of the holiness the devotion of the people that, that made God promise that his presence would go with them and give them rest? Was it their conduct, their righteousness, their works? I would say obviously not, because y'all remember one chapter earlier, they were caught up in idolatry All right. and immorality That's right. mm -hmm. as they danced around the golden calf, amen, and drank out the Alice, amen, filled with who knows what. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> One chapter earlier. All right, man. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Right, right. Yeah. No, no. God declared his presence would go with them, watch this, to give rest to them, not because they were worthy, mm -hmm. but because they had a mediator named Moses who stood between their sin and God's holiness. Can I get a witness? Right. And God told Moses, I know your name. Mm -hmm. okay. Because remember, God had promised he wasn't going to go with them. And Moses mediated. He stood between the people's sin and God's holiness, and he pleaded with God to have grace. Can we just take a side check today, right now, and determine that you're here today because of God's grace? Amen. Because you had a mediator, amen, who sits at the right hand of God, amen, Make an intercession for you right now. You're not here because of how holy you are. You're here because you have a mediator named Jesus. Amen. And he shed his blood so that you might be reconciled with God. Look at somebody say, don't get it twisted. It's all about grace, baby. Come on, son. Thank God for the mediator. And so here in our text, Moses presents three important petitions to God that we must also make in order to know his way, in order to declare, give me you, then we need to make these three important petitions to God, especially at such a time as this. The first is the
the seeking of God's path. The seeking of God's path. Look what Moses says in verse 13. If I have found grace, show me now my way. Show me your path. Amen. Show me. What, what, what do you want? My, where do you want my life to go? Show me your path. How wise of Moses to seek God's way to say, Lord, give me you. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Amen. And he sought it in God's grace. Yes. Because without God's grace, our sin separates us from God. Right, right, that's right. Come on, somebody. Right, right. Since when Adam came, through him, all of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But Moses says, Lord, in my messed up condition, give me a little grace. In my messed up condition, show me your way. Show me your path. We must know God's way, my brothers and sisters, if we are to walk right before God. We must know his way. And today we have the word of God that tells us the way of God. Amen. But I submit to you that not many folks are interested in knowing God's way. We have our own way. You know, there is a way that seemeth right unto man. But the end thereof is death. Amen? Right. We need to seek God's path. Amen? Especially now. Yeah. That's what God is trying to tell you. I have set a path before you. Yeah. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Amen? Uh, I know that you, there's a lot of different things on Facebook, but you need to be careful. Amen. Amen. Right. Because what you need to do is make sure that whatever it is that you are, are, are feeding yourself with, amen, it is based on the word of God, amen, it is based on light and not darkness. Amen. Because the world is, is being turned upside down, where it is they're trying to make wrong right and right wrong. Yes. And if you need to know God's way, amen, you need to know his path and you need to know his word. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Anybody got a thirst for the word? Amen. Anybody got a thirst for what God says? Amen. amen. What God wants? Amen. Anybody care about that anymore? Amen. What God wants for my life? Amen. That's when you get serious when you decide you ask the Lord, Lord, in all you're given, give me you. Because I submit to you that we want sometimes everything but God. Amen. Amen. But how wise of Moses to simply say, at the sun he said, give me you. So not only do we have this petition of the seeking of God's path, but we also have the petition of the securing of God's presence. The securing of God's presence. It's right there in verse 20. See thou say unto me, bring up this people, and thou hast not let me know whom they will send with me. Amen. Remember, Moses is still on the fact that God said he wasn't going with him. Amen. And he said, now God, you tell me to bring these people up. Amen. But uh, you have not let me know who you're going to send with us. Amen. Because God had said that he would no longer go with the Israelites. Up until that point, he was leading them and guiding them by a, a, a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. But because of their idolatry and immorality, amen, and shaking everything, shaking what the mama gave them and all that stuff, they, 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 God said, I can't go with that foolishness. Can I get a witness? And I have a question for you, bro. If you're listening today, amen, you might be quarantined from your church. Maybe you have not sat in your church sanctuary for a long time, amen, maybe since February. And some of y'all was, was quarantined way before the pandemic, amen. You wasn't coming anyway. But I need to 
national trust has God left the building? Has God said, no, I'm not dwelling with that foolishness anymore? I'm not, I see you worshiping in vain. Come on, can I get a witness? Because even your worship is carnal. And I'm not, I believe that even before this, God was declaring judgment on the house of God. Because we had gotten so fleshly and so carnal that God was not pleased. Can I get a witness? And sometimes we're worshiping God in vain because God ain't in it. Because God can't dwell in the mess. I said it. I said it. Amen. I said it. Do we even want God's presence anymore? All right, man. That's it. God said he will no longer go. He said that an angel would go with them. And Moses was smart enough to want God to go with them. Moses was smart enough to say, Lord, please. I, 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 I've, I've seen it. You know, I was up on the mountain. I was with you, amen. And when I came down, amen, with Joshua, I saw the foolishness. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. But, but please, God, they're, they're still your people. They're, they're, they're not perfect. Can I get a witness? They, they got problems. Can I get a witness? But Lord, you have brought them out here in this wilderness. And, and, and how many of you know that uh, how many a prayer uh, of yours is, Lord, uh, I didn't come this far, amen. You didn't, I don't believe that you brought me this far to leave me, amen. I, I ain't trying to stand before you acting like that I deserve any, anything, Lord. I know I got issues, can I get a witness? I know I got problems, and I ain't know where I'm supposed to be. But Lord, can you just give me a little grace? I, I know that the wages of sin and death, and by judgment, I should have been dead and gone a long time ago. Can I get a witness? But Lord, I'm here because you kept me. Can you just kept me a little while longer? Can you just keep me just for a little while longer? Have mercy, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's right. That's yes, God. God with him. Yes, God. Because he knows what is a church? What is a people of God without God? Come on. Come on. Amen. What, Amen. what is a church of uh, the, the house of God? Without God, what what is the people of God without God? What is the what is the Christians without Christ? Can I get a witness? They even try to take Christ out of Christmas. Exodus. Come on, man. Then who are we then without God? It is God who has worked woke us up this morning. It is God who has given us purpose. It is God who has established us along the path of righteousness for His name's sake, by His grace. Amen. The least you can do is seek His presence. And not want to go anywhere without God. Amen. Lord, whatever you're doing in this day, don't do it without me and don't leave me. David said, take whatever you take, Lord, do not take your presence. It's for me. That's right. Because without the presence of God, we are nothing. That's right. So in verse 12, this request. All right, Moses in verse 12, 12 does not say, don't say this in so many words, but God knew Moses' heart. Mm -hmm. And the following verses make it clear that Moses wanted the presence of God to go with him. Moses had a give me you. And as a matter of fact, there in verse 15, mm -hmm. if God did not go with them, Moses did not want to continue the journey. Lord, what, what am I without you? Amen. I don't want to go another step. Amen. Has anybody made that declaration in their life? Yes. That, Lord, I don't want to go another step without you. Amen. Because I just made, ran into walls. I've made mistakes without you. I've done things on my own without you. Come on, somebody. But, Lord, I don't want to go another step without you. Amen. Don't let it happen if you ain't going to be in it. I want wherever I go, I want you to be there. Can I get a witness? I want whatever I say for you to be there. Lord, don't even take me there, but you ain't going. That's right. Yes, Lord. All right. All right. Mm. This shows the great priority <laughs> that Moses puts on the presence of God. It is a priority that's seldom seen today. Yes. We want the house. Mm -hmm. We want the car. Yes, yes, oh, yeah. yes. Oh, yeah. We want the jewelry. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Some of us want the man. That's right. That's right. We want the woman. That's right. Come on, we want the 
with the clothes. Come on, somebody. We want Gucci and Gucci and everybody else. That's right. Tell the truth. You know what they want. Tell the truth. We want the socks. Tell the truth. We don't want God. Amen. We want the blessing. And we don't want the blessing. The devil is a liar. Lord, give me you. Give me you, God. I don't care. I don't have nothing else. Amen. I don't care if my money for it. As long as I got King Jesus, can I get a winner? I'm all right. I wish I had somebody here that had a giving you in their spirit. Give me you.
And I want you to pray to for seeing God's glory, which is spiritual. Well, how about the plan for seeing God's glory? Look what God said in verse 19. I will make all of my goodness pass before you. And I will proclaim the name of the Lord before you. And I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious. Can I get over this? I don't know about you, but that's how I got here. God was gracious to whom he'll be gracious to. Amen. If it was up to man, amen, I wouldn't have got no grace. Can I get a little bit? But God was gracious to whom he was gracious to. Amen. And he would say, I'm going to make my goodness pass right before you. You're going to see some stuff. Can I get a minute? I wish I had somebody here who would have saw some stuff. Come on, my eyes have seen some stuff. My ears have heard. I know how good he is. Can I get a minute? I praise him for his goodness. Surely goodness and mercy that follow me all the days of my life. Did anybody here know how good he is? The divine plan, Brother Smith, for displaying the glory of God was threefold. It's right there. Uh, God's glory would be revealed in first his goodness, second his greatness, and third in his grace. Can I get a witness? His goodness, his greatness, and then his grace. First his goodness. He said, I'm going to make all my goodness pass before you. Oh, thank God for uh, his goodness, amen, because his goodness shows his glory. Can I get a witness? Did anybody here have known the goodness of the Lord to pass before you? you? You know that it was nobody but the goodness of the Lord. It wasn't me, it wasn't daddy. Can I get a witness? It was all because of the goodness of the Lord. I didn't deserve it. I didn't go all that he told me to go. I didn't do all that he told me to do. But because of his goodness, oh, somebody's here today because of his goodness. God's grace. 
Not only his goodness, his greatness, but his grace. Yeah. He said, I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious. Amen. I like that because, uh, um, amen, I think my name was on that, you know, whosoever will list. Can I get a win? I wasn't, I wasn't on that list that, you know, these are the folks that are so holy that they deserve it. Can I get a witness? I know some of us think we're on that list. Uh, Can I get a witness on that list that I'm so great, amen, God needs me. I wasn't on that list, amen. I was in the back alley in life, amen. I was on my way to hell. Can I get a witness? But I'm so glad that you didn't mind. That this grace didn't mind reaching, amen, to that back alley where I was. Can I get a witness and touch me? Anybody been touch anybody been in the back alleys of life, amen? I know some of you were born saved and you're thinking of love, amen. I, 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 I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore, very deeply stained within, sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea, he heard my despairing cry, and out of the waters he lifted me. Can I get a witness? And now say, I'm, I'm here because of God's grace. Uh, I ain't got it twisted, amen. His grace and mercy brought me through. Uh, is anybody here got some grace, amen? If you're here today because of God's grace, uh, thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. see, you also see the prohibition in seeking God's glory. Amen. He says, the prohibit, he says, you cannot see my face. For there shall not any man see me, see my face and live. You, you can see my face. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Somebody says it's progress. It's progress. You gotta seek his face, amen. Seek his face. Yes. Uh, his he said, no man amen. at this point can see, see me right, right, right. and live. So thou shalt see the hind part of my glory, mm -hmm. but my face shall not be seen. Right, right. You can't take all of God's glory. Can I get a really be? If He showed it to you, Amen. It's so awesomely terrible, and I don't mean terrible in that positive way, Amen. It's so oh, I, there's no word for it, Amen. There's no word to describe it, Amen. Uh, uh, you right. can't look on it and live. So he said, I'll allow you, amen, because of my goodness and my grace, amen, I'll allow you to just see the back end of it. Yeah. I don't know about you, but if I can just get a glimpse of the back end, help me, Lord Jesus. I don't need to see the whole glory. If I can just get a little bit of his glory, if I walk with it and I'll talk with it, amen, and it loves me and I love it, amen, just a little bit, amen. That's why he can't keep us at a certain level of glory, but for so long, it wears you out. That's why even after preaching, I go home and I take a, what I call a holy nap. Can I get a win? Because I can't stand it. It's too much to be in this total presence. But every now and then, he lets me see the back end of it. Amen. So that God is good. Amen. The heaven ain't going to be all right. He, he lets me know that he already worked it out. Amen. He said, I'll let you see the tail end of it. I can't give it to you all at one time. Get in the presence of God. Sending God, it's, it's just, you cannot bring species blood. Can I get up with that? And so that's why we needed Jesus. Our, the, his redemptive act at Calvary, amen, made it possible for us to, amen, to actually be in the presence of God without dying because the wages of sin is death. Uh, uh, plead the blood, amen. Whatever it is that you're going through, I, you might not be perfect enough to get in God's presence, but plead the blood because the blood will never lose its power. The blood is perfect. Can I get a witness? It's, it's from an unblemished lamb, amen. It gets the job done. Huh? So when I'm going through, amen, I just plead the blood. When my family is going through, I plead the blood. When my children are going through, I don't say, Lord, I deserve it, but I plead the blood. Uh, the blood will never lose its power. It reaches to the high mountain and it flows to the lower valley. That blood that did me strength from day to day, it will never, never, never lose its power. It's power. Yes, Lord. Not only do we see the prohibition in seeking. God's glory, but we see the protection. Amen. In seeking God's glory. God says in verses 21 and 22, there's a place by me. And thou shalt stand upon a rock. 
And it shall come to pass when my glory passes by mm -hmm. that I will put thee in the cleft or in the break or in the crack of the rock. Mm -hmm. Amen. And will cover thee with my hand as I pass by. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. I looked at that mother belly and God gave me some new revelation. Watch this. God would protect Moses from being consumed when the glory of God passed by. Mm -hmm. Oh, he would protect him, amen. Mm -hmm. and, and, and our protection today can be found in our Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. Mm -hmm. So when God is passing by, our protection today is in Jesus. It's actually in the blood. Can I get a word of my hand? I will cover you so you won't even see the fullness, amen, because I know you're going to look. I don't know about you, but I'd be like Moses. I know curiosity killed the cat. But if God is passing by, amen, and he can tell me, don't look, amen, but I know, amen, anybody, anybody ever tap still, you got to steal a look sometime, amen. Oh, Lord, just please, I got to steal a look, amen. But don't, 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 don't kill me, Lord, but I, didn't, I couldn't help myself. I, I felt your presence all around me, and I open one eye. I hope that was okay, Lord. Don't kill me. Lord, don't worry about it. I don't tell it your face. I know you're going to try to look. That's why I got to cover you. Right. Look at somebody say, I'm covered. I'm covered. And finally, the prerequisite okay. of seeing God's glory. He said, I will cover thee with my hand while I pass by. The flesh this, watch this. I want you to get this. Church, we gotta get this because this is where we are. The flesh of Moses had to be covered if the glory of God mm. was going to be fully revealed. All right. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. What am I saying? The principle here is that flesh can stop God's glory mm. from being seen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Men must be hid if God is to be honored. Mm, yes. All right. Mm, all right, all right. Well, for many of our ministers today, we want exaltation. Mm -hmm. We want to be out front and seen. Oh, yes. Televangelists and even many pastors in our churches too often want to exalt themselves instead of God. Amen. We, for the most part, want to make a name instead of lift up a name. But mm -hmm. this God told me, if you gonna see me, you got to hide under the shadow of my wings. Mm -hmm. You see, brothers and sisters, as I close, sin requires judgment. Yes. But in Moses, God found a way to bless his people rather than judge them. Well, there is one God mm -hmm. and All right. one mediator yes. between God and man. Yes. It is the man, Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for us all, all right. to be testified in due time. Like the children of Israel, we drop the ball. Mm -hmm. We fall short and we mess up constantly. But, thank you Jesus, like them, we experience the presence of God because we too have a mediator, but we have a mediator that's greater than Moses. Mm -hmm. His name is Jesus. Yes. And as a result, like the children of Israel, we are given direction by God who will go in the way before us mm -hmm. to search out a place for us to pitch our tents. All right. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. No man comes to the Father but by him. Right, right. Jesus said, if you had known me, you would have known my Father also. For now on you know him and have seen him. But Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father. Uh, and it will it'll be sufficient for us. And Jesus said unto him, Have I been with you so long, Philip, uh, that you don't yet know uh, who I am? Can I get a witness? 
He who has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, show us the Father? I say, show us, uh, Lord, your way and show us your glory. Uh, I say, Lord, give me you in all of your giving. Uh, if you want to see the Father, just take a look at Jesus. Uh, because he and the Father is one. I heard Jesus say, uh, Father, make me a body and I'll redeem man back to you. Uh, he stepped from glory into time through 40 and two generations. Can I get a witness? Uh, he stayed through a virgin named Mary. Uh, he walked the earth for 33 and a half years. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, and they hung him up and they stretched the minds. Uh, for me, he lived and for me, he died. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, you want to see the Father? Uh, you want to see me, you, or uh, see Jesus? Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, he's Alpha and Omega. Uh, he's the beginning and the end. Uh, he's a whole vagina. Can I get a witness? Uh, he's a whole Rafa. Help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, he's a whole Shabbat.
the rock. You stand on the rock. And mom used to say, I can go to the rock. When all hell is breaking loose, I, I can go to the rock. When I can't see my way, I can go to the rock. When I'm, when I'm being called everything but a child of God, I can go to the rock. When men rises up against me, amen, to heat up my flesh, they're going to stumble and fall, amen, because I'm standing on a rock. Keep standing on that rock. And one look will break salvation. One, one look will bring joy. And he's going to show us himself like he never has before. Hide me, Lord. And you be glorified. Thank you for your glory. Give me you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God has Somebody say, give me you. Yeah. 